In a dramatic demonstration of the challenges and imperatives of maintaining human assets in space, China's Tiangong space station faced a severe crisis when its solar panels were struck by debris. This incident prompted a swift and high-stakes response involving historic spacewalks to repair the critical damage. Today's exploration delves into the resilience and ingenuity displayed during this emergency, underscoring the broader implications for space exploration safety and the technological strides being made to navigate the perils of orbital debris. Detailed response to an unforeseen crisis. When Tiangong, China's pride in its space fleet, was struck by space debris, it wasn't just a mere incident, but a wake-up call to the fragility of human endeavors in space. The debris, which impacted the solar panels, compromised the station's ability to generate power, crucial for both life support and operational functionality. The astronauts aboard, faced with a dire need for rapid response, prepared for a mission unlike any other, a repair in the vacuum of space, far from any immediate help. The first spacewalk to repair these damages took place on December 1, 2023. The crew, consisting of experienced astronauts Tang Hongbo, Tang Shengji, and Jiang Xinlin, were tasked with a precise and perilous job. The operation required them to replace sections of the damaged solar wings and rewire the affected power systems. These activities were critical as the station's ability to sustain its orbit and support life depended on their success. The astronauts spent nearly 16 hours in the open cosmos, dealing with the challenging zero-gravity environment, where every tool and component can potentially become a hazardous projectile. The complexity of the task was compounded by the need to mitigate any further risks. Precautions were taken to ensure that no additional debris was created during the repairs that could exacerbate the situation. The crew used specialized tools designed for use in space, which are tethered to their suits or the station, to prevent them from drifting away into space. This section not only explores the immediate response, but also delves into the technical and human challenges involved in such high-stakes extravehicular activities. The incident at Tiangong is a stark illustration of the broader issue of space debris, an ever-growing concern as Earth's orbit becomes increasingly cluttered with defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from previous collisions. These debris travel at speeds so great that even small particles can cause significant damage upon impact, as evidenced by the Tiangong station's ordeal. In this section, we explore the origins and dangers of space debris. The majority arises from previous space missions, abandoned satellites, and anti-satellite weapon tests, which have all contributed to the cloud of fragments circling our planet. The dangers are not just theoretical. Collisions have occurred, leading to further fragmentation and an increased likelihood of impact, known as the Kessler syndrome. Efforts to track and manage these debris involve a complex network of ground-based radars and telescopes, along with space-based sensors. Agencies like the U.S. Space Surveillance Network and private entities monitor objects as small as a softball in orbit, cataloging their trajectories to predict potential collisions. Mitigation strategies, such as designing spacecraft to withstand impacts, employing shields, and developing end-of-life policies for satellites to deorbit them or move them to a graveyard orbit are critical steps in addressing this issue. Moreover, this section discusses the international collaborations and policies aimed at debris mitigation, highlighting the need for a global approach to a problem that affects all of humanity's spacefaring endeavors. The ongoing efforts to improve debris monitoring and removal technologies are crucial in maintaining the long-term sustainability of space operations. Following the Tiangong incident, the focus on enhancing safety measures and developing innovative technologies to protect space infrastructure has intensified. This section discusses the advancements in tracking and surveillance technologies that enable better prediction and avoidance of space debris. High-definition cameras on the space station's robotic arm 
along with handheld cameras used during EVAs, play a crucial role in assessing the station's exterior and monitoring for potential hazards. The improvements in debris tracking technology are complemented by advancements in collision avoidance systems. These systems utilize algorithms that analyze the trajectory of debris and provide early warnings, allowing for timely evasive maneuvers. The section also covers the design of new shielding materials that can better protect spacecraft from impacts, reducing the risk of critical damage. Additionally, the space community's response extends beyond reactive measures. There is an increasing push towards designing spacecraft and missions that are inherently more resilient to debris impacts. This includes modular designs that can be easily repaired in orbit and technologies that can autonomously detect and respond to threats. The commitment to these innovations not only enhances the safety of current missions, but also ensures the long-term sustainability of human activity in space. Thank you for joining us in exploring this critical and captivating subject. The incident at the Tiangong Space Station serves as a stark reminder of the challenges faced in space, but also highlights the resilience and ingenuity of those who work to conquer these challenges. As space exploration continues to expand, the lessons learned from incidents like these will shape the safety protocols and technologies of tomorrow, ensuring that the Fennel Frontier remains open and safe for explorers and scientists alike. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates for astronomy and continue to unlock the mysteries of the universe together.